Let's find out how low latency it is. I'll put my hands up and then find out on YouTube. Okay, hand is up. Okay, that's about... Okay, hang on. Hands up, and then now I'll count. Okay. About five seconds. Okay, so that that is ultra low latency. Hopefully the quality is not really shitty from the ultra low latency. It probably will be, but I think that'll be more fun for uh, everybody in chat. Um, and hopefully when it finishes, like, afterwards, as people are watching the video, it'll be a bit higher quality. I forgot to fucking mute the YouTube stream, so I'm like, ah, there's two wills! I'm speaking of which I should it. mute Discord and also start the stream on Discord so you can see. So I can <laughs> see yeah, correctly. That would, uh, that would help. <laughs> awesome. So last time we found... The weird alien goo nest. I have a feeling we're gonna get face hugged. Um, probably unintentionally at least once, but there will be face huggers, I'm sure. Um, I need to go the other way. This way. Did I come from this way? Oh boy. Flashing lights are already getting me. Yes, let's loot the corpses. That's a good idea, Ripley. Fuck off. What yeah, if we had spiders, you. but like tails? Yeah, they wrap around your neck. BDSM spiders. Activate alpha conduit. I'm surprised any of these electronics still work with all this water goo. It doesn't ruin any of the electronics. Not even sure anything was going to come out of that, but it was closed and then opened, so better safe than sorry, right? <laughs> Is the fire going to Oh, did I not even need to... <laughs> Guess that wasn't where the next thing was. Is this a door? Nope. Not a door. It's a goop wall. No wall sphincters. Alright, that means there's a button or something I'm not seeing. Aha! I knew it. <laughs> now, can I do this? I can. Oh my god, I have a full size bag of Skittles. Let's go! Nice. Skittles make my teeth hurt. They make mine too, but Skittles are worth it. <laughs> I prefer airheads. Because they taste Skittle esque and don't make my teeth hurt. <laughs> Ever had the gummy airheads? Um, probably? I, I fucking love them. Fucking lights. Ah, that hurts my eyes. Okay, I wanna look away. Um, hopefully there's nothing important in that direction that we need to be looking at. Done yet? I'm still going. Oh, I can <laughs> I can leave the area now. Follow the blinky lights. Well, that's not headache inducing. Dude. This isn't good. Uh, 
Um, it has. How, how long has it been? It's been five minutes. Um, it has been about five minutes. Yeah. Good job, Will. Is that the awesome. new record? It has been five minutes. <laughs> At least for like alien. Then like broke something in the first five minutes. Ooh. What? <laughs> it's dependent on the angle my camera is looking. That's weird. I don't like that. I don't know what the fuck is supposed to be going on with that. That that, that reminds that's like a gimmick for like a puzzle game. <laughs> it's like that, uh, what's the one game where you can, like, hold an object and then, depending on the the way that you're looking at it, it's bigger or smaller? It's called Liminal? Oh, um... Super Liminal? Yeah, Super Liminal. No, but see, it's not even me breaking something. It's just something being broken. I didn't break that. I didn't do that. <laughs> I think you're the only person that this has ever fucking happened to, so yes, you fight... Playing the video game have broken it. Okay, so there's power somewhere. Hmm. I can goo this way. <laughs> that man has no lieutenant, Dan. No legs. No, I think he's got legs. I think they're just oh. in the back. I can't. I'm fucking blind, apparently. I like the idea that Ripley's just walking through here, just grabbing people's bodies and stealing their stuff. <laughs> Reload my. I'm gonna make sure everything's reloaded. Shotgun. Revolver. Revolver's loaded. Alright, Bolt gun's loaded. Fuck you. Lots of movement. I scared it off. Didn't get me. I'm not even sure it saw me at first. Probably didn't. <laughs> Alright, well that one didn't see me. I don't even know if that's the same one. I don't know if there are multiples in the area. <laughs> was this where I already was? It was it is not. Disengage locking mechanism. Does that have a bigger head than the other one? Leaning. <laughs> Playing Siege now. No power. Alright, so we have to find. Oh. 
Back off. Oh, shit. Wait. Apex life form? Doesn't- hasn't admitted the concept- uh, Fuck. Fuck the joke. Joke's dead. Can't talk. Okay, so where's the power relay? Must be down that way. Yeah, okay, yeah, I see redirect power. I need to be checking my map more often, but my brain is just like, you can figure this out without your map. Because <laughs> it really feels like the... It really feels like I should be able to, because the game is well built in other ways. I feel like maybe the second half of the game has a little bit too much reliance on having to check your map um, to, to figure out what you're doing. What the, what the fuck are you on about, chat? Applewood smoked alien? Shut the fuck up. Applewood smoked alien? Applewood smoked anything that's good. You take a turn and you applewood smoke it and it's good. <laughs> I don't think I've had anything that was probably like applewood smoked. Oh, that's very good. It's um almost caramely, I think, if I'm Ooh. if I'm remembering correctly. Like a caramel apple. A bit. If I'm thinking correctly, I, I, chat could tell me I'm probably wrong. We're going on an adventure. Okay, locking mechanism disabled. Well, that's making noise. We're gonna reload this. Sweet and somewhat fruity. Sweet and somewhat fruity. Now I think they don't know what applewood smoke is. It's from it's from <laughs> Dyer's barbecue. the only time, this is the only time when, like, saving your game, taking three seconds, actually feels very scary. Fuck you. shouldn't, so... Fuck you. Do not fuck the aliens. Yeah, it's an HR Geiger thing, so they've got the shape of, like, a hip bone, and they have a vagina mouth. I always thought they were like stingrays with legs. A little bit. Um, if you if you like look up the design, it's very clearly like a hip bone shape. Mm. Hostels nearby, but don't care. It's still here. <laughs> Why? Wait, this is not my... Great. That was a little glitchy. <laughs> oh, and there was no sound effect when it bit me. Okay. I thought I had my uh, flamethrower out, but I didn't.
It's still here. <laughs> I died and reloaded. Why is it still here? What is this supposed to be? <laughs> like, it's the bolt gun. But what is it? What, why is it here? Where is it supposed to be loaded? Is it supposed to be like sitting on this? This is so weird. It's a distraction to distract me. Ricardo, I can destroy the nest. Ripley, you've put yourself in enough danger today. I can power up all the cores, overload them, and then initiate a reactor purge. It'll destroy everything down There's there. more of these guys. Look, I'm not trying to persuade you out of this, man. I'd just like it if you didn't die. This is what's going to happen. There are emergency overflow circuits that feed excess power into the local capacitor banks on each tower. If I decouple them and discharge the system, the purge will be external. The nest is right in harm's way. I have no clue what you just said. Just find something Neither did to she. hold on. That delivery was very wooden. <laughs> so I guess you can't really say that in like a non-wooden way. So maybe it was fine. Yeah, hang on. What is that used for? What is the bolt gun used for? Like, 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 in a non-weapon capacity, what the fuck is the bolt gun? I don't think that it has a use in a non-weapon capacity. When you find it, it's very clearly, like, put together. Like a... Okay. Like, you can see the duct tape and stuff. So it's like an improvised weapon. I think. Um, I guess I didn't charge it enough. You didn't charge it up all the way. Why do the robots have to wear strange coats? I don't know why. Riveting stuff. What is somebody not entertained by what's going on? The bolt, not a rivet. Oh, that was the joke. Okay. Nice pun. <laughs> I did not get that pun until it was explained to me. <laughs> Therefore, it's a bad pun. Maybe it was just more clever than I was expecting from a large chat. Did I miss that I could interrupt these? I did. Thought I would get it, but I don't know. Now I'm bolting around. <laughs> I hate you. Skittles bag is full of nothing but purple Skittles. This is bullshit. Does this look as exciting as it feels? Which is to say, not at all. <laughs> Screen shaking, please.
Okay, what is this? Just mini game central? What? Why did they decide to do this? It's like every mini game in the entire game. My God. The exciting finale! Running around and doing mini games. I kind of like uh, the flashy blues. Like, I'm just a sucker for like pinks and purples and blues. Of course, initiating the purge happens on the other end. Gotta run all the way around. <sighs> More of these guys. Why are they on fire? I think the lightning set them on fire? Oh, okay. They just then why are you not on fire? Um, because I'm not made of plastic. That's stupid. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not on fire. Maybe that was a hint that I shouldn't go this way, but I'm too stupid to take hints. So. <laughs> well, you probably fucking broke it and, uh, we're supposed to be taking damage and you're not. I don't know. So I have to get up to the control room. I can do it from this way. Oh, what the fuck was that one Samsung phone that liked to just blow up in people's hands? Oh, the, it was one of the galaxies. Yeah, they use uh, that battery. That's like why they note, were on fire. Note 2 or something. Let's find out. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Oh, fucking come on, chat. Make up your mind. Is it the Note 7 or the Note 9? I got fucking Discord telling me it's Note 6. <laughs> note numbers. Bro. Black dog. Okay. Uh, Ricardo, I'm about to purge the nest. Was, was that right? <laughs> I don't know what I just did. <laughs> Behold! Electricity! <laughs> Should we be staying here? Shouldn't we be leaving? Four at least? Five? Oh, okay. There's just like a dozen. It's doing the dead space thing. Yeah, but this has earned it. Dead Space didn't. <laughs> this has earned the twist that there are multiple. Like, we, we, we knew it was coming, because, like, it's a little obvious, but, like, the build-up and the suspense and the reveal, like, it's earned the uh, overload of aliens. This game is well-designed. <laughs> For the most part. There are a couple of things I don't Wait, necessarily I'm agree with. But... Happening. You think? I need you to get to medical. No. no. The reactor purge. It's resetting systems across Sevastopol. Lights, transit, maybe even communications. I think this is our big chance. Just go. No. We might not have much time. I'm heading down to comps. Might not have much time. Let me just sit here for a couple of seconds and save my game. <laughs> How do I know what goes where? <laughs> you put the round peg in the square hole. I've been playing this game for nine hours, something like that. Did not notice the big red signs above every single thing. I'm just now noticing them. <laughs> I 
I actually noticed them before Raymond pointed it out, but wow, I can't believe I didn't notice those before because I kept looking at these thinking, how are you supposed to tell where you're going? The big red sign. <laughs> today, I learned, today I learned Will has never been on a train. Okay, they don't do trains like that. Oh. Where, I'm, where I'm from, there's big fuck off signs everywhere. Well, where the hell yes, you are there and is. where the hell you're going. There's many ways to find. This one, I figure, you know, in the future, they'd have a little light up sign next to the, the thing that just showed it. So you can, like, look at it and then look left and be like, oh, okay, this is the exact one I'm looking for. Not a, you know, whatever. It's probably more on me and not the game. Apollo's recovered from the reactor purge and knocked out external comms again. Damn it. So why'd you send me here? Plan B, Rip. See, before I left, the system showed a ship approaching Sevastopol. I think it's the Inisadura. Marlon managed to send out his photo codes to call it in while comms were temporarily open. We've got to get to it. Is it docking? No, but it's in a holding position nearby. Head for the ambulance bay. The shuttles are really short range, but they'll make it. Got it. What's the conspiracy theory for on daylight savings? Daylight savings what? sucks ass. I think everybody agrees with that. That's not even a conspiracy theory. Daylight savings is dumb. Okay. Oh, here's a map. Let's so update the map. Um. How do I get? Oh, my torch. Okay. <laughs> Opinion on arson? Um, By our fucking arson man. I mean, if you do it on your own property and it doesn't endanger anybody, it's probably fine to set stuff on fire, but, like... I mean, arson, by definition, is, like, criminal stuff, so probably don't do that. <laughs> but, like, I've been to... I, I went to a place called Stunt Ranch, and they had a stunt camp. Um, I got to light my cell phone fire. They slather your arm in this, like, flame, uh, flame retardant goo. And then um, we wore, like, a sleeve under that as well. Um, and then they light your arm on fire, and you just get to watch it burn. And then uh, they put you out before it's even warm. It's, like, very cold and very heavy. Um, am I still going the right way? Yeah, okay. I have a friend whose entire back is covered in third degree burns. Oof. He has a good sport about it, though. Hey, we're back here. Still on fire. I see a launch on my terminal. Why does it take one of the shuttles? Hmm. I'm gonna run. Um, if the thing beeps, I'll stop running. Is it just quoting Shakespeare at me? <laughs> I think it said tomorrow. <laughs> so YouTube rep has his family hostage. The gun making sure he doesn't condone violence. <laughs> I, I don't condone violence in general. That's been like the whole point of me joking about like... I mean, I joke about it all the time and in cast is like a bunch of like, wanton murder of people. <laughs> hey, come on. Like, I can't pay attention to subtext, but geez. Well, sometimes I can't even just pay yeah, attention to Yeah, it's pretty heavy-handed. 
Oh yeah, that's right. Live chat doesn't know about the Gears of War fiasco that I had. <laughs> Shall we tell them? Ah, uh, sure. Why the fuck not? Tally didn't realize the um, very overt uh, themes that Gears of War was anti-war. <laughs> totally didn't fucking dawn on me. Level three upgrade for the access tuner. So I can't understand text, let alone subtext. Oh shit! Wait. Nope. Stop. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here with your glitchy tail. <laughs> Come on, go up in the thing. Oh, fuck you. And I didn't have my stone thrower out in time. <laughs> There is no way Gears of War is anti-war. Did do you not no, understand no. the themes oh, of no. Gears of War? <laughs> robotic ro robotic top hat. It's is in the name. The no, Will. Robotic top hat is just the fucking. It's just a fucking been a shit poster for the entire chat. He's okay, your so chain. He's, he's he's yanking your chain here. Halo also has themes of anti-war, though it's less overt. <laughs> Definitely in the fucking books, though. Yeah, in the books, it's a little more heavy handed. Naomi, my beloved. And in what, Halo Legends? Yeah, Legends had it bad, too. Daisy, like my with, beloved. Uh, Daisy, yeah. Daisy and, um. And then Halo 4 tried to talk about it for all five minutes. <laughs> before they, like, gave up on the theme. Until the very end of the game, where they're like, which one of us is really a robot? And you're just left to think, what? <laughs> which one is the machine? Like, okay, we know where this is going. Master Chief is the machine. Yes, yes, we get it. Look, a Mach 5! <laughs> <laughs> I remember hearing that a bunch in CE. Because originally, in, in Halo CE, and even in Halo 2, um, they had the idea that Master Chief was just a cyborg. Damn, my access tuner isn't powerful enough. I wonder if Doom is anti-war. <laughs> I'm not really sure the original is, but the new ones definitely had. Um, it was it was more like anti-capitalism. It's it's anti-capitalism, pro-Catholicism. Pro-Catholicism. <laughs> Tuner upgrades where you just have to press more buttons. Hurry up. Coordinates already in the system. Just punch the dash. What about you? <laughs> I'm already dead. This is a recording. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, why the fuck was there a blasting cap just in the middle of a fucking ambulance? Where is space? Where is anything? Uh, the out there. Wow, look at those textures. Oh my god. <laughs> that was surprisingly low quality compared to everything else. <laughs> it's like, alright, for the station, it's just Greeble textures. Doesn't matter what. <laughs>
Ricardo, can you hear me? Now, see, Halo 4 could have ended the way it did. Halo 5 should have been about Master Chief um, going AWOL and destroying Halo rings on his own after finding out that the UNSC wanted to, like, research and colonize Halo rings, because they find out about that in 4, that the UNSC had, like, pulled a piece of the Halo ring off, and that caused the whole thing with the Didact and whatever. So, yeah, like, composer... Chief ignoring orders to go and destroy Halo rings because he knows that's right versus what he's been told would have fit with, like, a character arc, kind of, and then also would have made um, Locke a bit more compelling as well, like, Locke making a decision, like, is stopping Chief an actual good thing or not, and then... Because the actual plotline they had in 5 about Chief going to hunt down the ghost of Cortana or whatever was fucking dumb, and it turns out I, that she's actually there. 4 or 5, I, I will oh. never... I will never forgive Halo 5 for not building on what fucking Hunt the Truth was. <laughs> yep. Like, I will forever be mad. I will forever be mad. You know, give me a story where the fucking chief seems like the chief is all, Oh, fuck humans. I am a Oops. batshit child soldier. And yada, yada, yada. Give me that. What? I don't give a fuck about Cortana. She dead. Like, third time now. Thank you. We don't stop her in five. How the fuck did I think she died three times? What the hell am I getting number three from? Probably thinking she died in five. But no, I know she didn't die in five, but I got really mad about that. Because that fucking monitor did all the work. Oh no. <laughs> what? I'm very confused. That one dude in chat. Uh, which one? Um, when the book's Oni is making crops to kill the elite slowly, so wanting them to weaponize a halo isn't surprising. Saying that, like, Halo wasn't designed to be a weapon in the first place? Like... The problem was Halo under 343, they wanted it to be more complicated than it needed to be. Ricardo, in case you're and, me, I've got the and so with Infinite, they have to, like, un... Online. fuck it. And Hopefully they made it simpler, simpler, but... Still no sign of they had to have, like, enough complicated stuff to, like... Finish up the plot line hey, and then Ripley. introduce Welcome new stuff. The yeah, unless, Milo? which I'm gonna be so Where upset you, that this is gonna be the flood again. <laughs> Thanks for switching the power back on. You saved me a job. Like if it's just a, if it's just a I recolored flood, like the banish is just a recolored covenant, I'm gonna be upset. Speaking of the covenant, what about alien covenant guys? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> The best alien. Oh man, the urge to stick my you know, foot it's, in it's your a real shame stronger. that with the Terminator and Alien movies that they were so good that they only ever made two movies each. Yeah. I am probably not going the right way. Thank you, Dor. I like that I just kicked over a bunch of fucking boxes. Taylor? Taylor! Marlo, what are you doing? What no one else seems prepared to do. Come find me, Ripley. I got something for you. Are you playing fucking hide and seek now? Okay, okay. 
We access tuner. Assuming I'll have to come back through here eventually because of the the one radio. Shaky things, also shaky things. things. <laughs> Brought him to the bathroom hall. Broke all the rules, getting her short. That was stupid of me. Stupid. You don't beat this thing, Ripley. You can. All you can do is refuse to engage. You gotta wipe out every trace, destroy any clue, stop its infection to spread it. Make sure there's no chance of a human race ever making contact with it again. Because the moment it makes contact, it's won. The company's never gonna know what happened here. Nobody is. I won't allow Aren't it. Aren't we fighting for the same thing? Like, we also want to stop the alien. Right, but I don't... But I think Marlowe is like... It's like a different way of defeating the alien than Ripley does. You know... Oh. And justify the means and whatnot. It's funny that I'm like tall enough that my head is definitely clipping through some of these things. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Added report. Personal message. This is for my daughter. Hi, Amanda. I'm recording this for you, my sweetheart. And I hope you get to hear it one day. You see, I, um, I got into trouble. Um, my ship, there was an accident sweetheart and um we found an alien creature it was very dangerous and the only way we could stop it was to destroy the ship uh i'm okay i'm stuck on this lifeboat long way out but we had to destroy the ship we had to destroy the nostromo we just couldn't risk bringing that thing home with us I needed to protect you. Don't worry. Is this Don't worry about than me. The original end of Alien. I'm sure I'll see you very soon. The Nostromo in the original. Right? I love you, sweetheart. Do they destroy it in Aliens? I never watched I think the they original. Go back Alien. to the Nostromo and Aliens. Um, I'm. It's been a while since I've watched the movies. All knowing chat. Answer the question. Someone said yes. Will I'm. I'm, I'm correct. That this is different than. The ship was destroyed? Stromo got, Stromo got boomed, yeah. In the movies? You're thinking of Dead no, Space 2. <laughs> Dead Space 2 has got a lot of homages to uh, Alien, but like, I swear there was like a thing in Aliens where they go back to an area from Alien. That'll turn the reactor into a goddamn nuke. You'll destroy the ship and the station. It'll annihilate every trace of that creature. Ripley, okay, so that's why we don't agree with way. him, because he wants to be suicidal. <laughs> and I'm not letting the company have it, or they'll just start the whole thing over again. Listen to me! We don't have to do this! Stop! Stop it, Marlo! Marlo, please. You heard what your mother did. She understood. If she was here, she'd be helping me. You think she would want company suits knowing the zip code of that creature? No one must know. Um. or not, she was my wife. I loved her, and I killed her. Okay. Make sure he's dead, or you're gonna get shot. <laughs> You have to help me. Go to that console. Warning. Fusion reactor overload in progress. Open the fusion system so I can work on him. What? 
I need power sent to the auxiliary generator. Look for the letters A-U-X. Not the dubstep. Put the live rats back again. Okay, you're doing good, Taylor. Now How is she still alive? <laughs> Do you see it? Uh, don't you know that fusion that uh, fusion reactors don't generate any It'll radiation? Be there, Trust me. <laughs> I could do without the screen shake. That's making this a lot more difficult. <laughs> Is Taylor gonna die? Let's find out. Is what's his face gonna wake up and Feels like sort of the finale. The end. <laughs> Rip hot woman. Like, can I save the game? Or they put fire there specifically. So you can't, because that would be really goofy. Radiation doesn't exist unless there's a hazmat suit scene. <laughs> Use smoke signals. The broadcast from the lane just updated. Hello, Sebastian. There is Can already a smoke signal. But... We just saw a ship blow on your starboard side, took out an entire orbital stabilizer array. We have no place to dock. Please tell us what's going on in there. We we can take survivors. I'll leave this channel open. Torrens out. Where did I get my phone? There it is. Oh, I guess I can eye on towards this, can't I? Yeah. I should be able to recognize these doors already. <laughs> Welcome to Seeks and Communication. Like the one ship can destroy an entire station. I mean you you blow stuff up and it it works. I mean it's the same probably same concept as like Kamikaze pilots in World War II, like one well placed plane straight into a ship, and you're going to cripple the hell out of that thing. Hmm. 
Hmm? No, it must be up. That's what. Give me uppies. What? There was another elevator or something up here, right? Is it not that? Is it this way? <laughs> this doesn't feel right. Oh, yeah, no, it is, because this, I remember now. Okay. Yeah, okay. Because we came back here way early in the game and didn't have the iron torch. and servers. Pretty sure this is just an android. I don't feel like I'm going the right way. Um. So isn't it's it's like wrap all the way around, yeah. Raymond is yelling at you to go and lobby. No, I'm going to seek some communications. Didn't I come out of this? Did I just take the elevator and that wasn't the right thing to do? <laughs> I think I may have just gone the wrong way to begin with. I did hear a save point, though. Uh, 
that up here? Orbital stabilizers operating at Sounds like yes. Yes, okay, it's okay. So we know if chat says anything interesting, so I'm gonna be focusing mostly on the game. Mm-hmm. My job is to be the chat filter. Mm -hmm. Yo, there's our man. It is, it is your chat, so something is something is bound to be said. If we had the coordinates for the torrents, we could align the transmitter dishes manually, bypass Apollo completely. There's an observatory near the Conzare, right? Yeah, we should be able to find the torrents coordinates using that. Go get the door for you. Click it, click it, click it. I am keyboard man. I didn't trust it. <laughs> also, I swear to God, every time I press a button, I'm not actually pressing a button. Yeah, no, you're pushing, like, next to the button. Mm So how is the stream quality, chat? Is it noticeably worse than usual, or is it fine? Because I set it to ultra low latency. Damn, we can't get past the lockdown. Keep on it. That ship's out there waiting for us. It's fine. So let me in. Try your codes again. Okay. Hey, okay. Do this. Let's say it's good. Stream quality is good. Looks okay to me. Yeah. So streams going. Okay. Going I'm going to keep it low latent, ultra low latency for future streams then to get like maximum engagement because it's fun to have like almost real time engagement versus the like minute delay. No stream sniping chat. <laughs> stream sniping. <laughs> going back to the chat being the alien. <laughs> that would be an awful fucking like, experience. <laughs> I think there's a mod or something for Left 4 Dead that they can oh control God. the director. That's the, uh, that's the fuck at this. That's the little shit that spawns the special infected, right? The director? Uh, yeah. The director is the thing that chooses what special infected and stuff. I think even regular infected. No chat of the androids. Alien socialization. That's a stupid puzzle. <laughs> When it's like oh up. okay no I get it now I, I see there <laughs> that's also a stupid puzzle why are they introducing new puzzles that are just bad wow this is kind of glitchy bouncy bouncy elevator mm -hmm. yeah we can see the outside again the really low quality outside. Ugh. Why am I yawning so fucking much? My it's Skittles only, it's lays. It's not even 8:30. Fucking... 
<laughs> yeah, like where my fucking Skittles lace with the... What, 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 what the... what the... what the fuck's the word I'm gonna do? <laughs> no. It's the medicine that makes you go night-night. NyQuil. I found them. NyQuil. Right. Does NyQuil make you sleepy? I thought they were just supposed to be taken at night. Well, yeah, well... If you take NyQuil during the day, they'll take a fuck ton of naps because it makes you go night-night. Nyquil's packed to the room with some other kind of sleepy chemical. Can I leave, please? <laughs> um. Uh, is there more puzzles? Pretty sure I should be able to interact with the ladder. Tell me I didn't just get soft locked. There we go. Okay. Um, that well. was a little scary. <laughs> that was the scariest part of tonight. <laughs> Skills were actually the quadules that Bill Cosby snuck into your house. Okay, Roach. What? What do you what? Uh, still on about you know the Skittles making me sleepy and. Roach is implying that Bill Cosby like fucking roofied me through my skittles. <laughs> what is this? I can't believe you left me alone back then. I didn't know this was in here. Red Ram. Okay, well I gotta go that way. So I didn't even need to come back in here. Okay, never mind. That's where I came from. I did have to go through here. The door is closing and then having to wait for them to be open again is a bit annoying. Is it this way? Let's find out. A lift! What lift number is this? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Mind the gap. Mind the step. I don't mind the step at all. Aw. You're gonna need to go night night. <laughs> we gotta got chuck Will in. Read him a bedtime story. Um am I going the right, the right way? on the samurai spacesuit. It's actually not supposed to shake this much. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Seems very glitchy. Your head just fucking clipped through that. <laughs> like, like you could literally see the inside of that door frame. Okay, this is the right thing. Did, did Ripley just take a dump in the suit? And that's flushing? Was that an alien? No, okay, that's just a bit random space is, It looked like an alien corpse. <laughs> Are we gonna get attacked by an alien in the vacuum of space? Can the aliens even survive in the vacuum of space? I don't think they can. They can. They can? They can, yeah. Mm. I have a feeling we'll get at least one jump scare from an alien out here then. Seems appropriate. Oh god, chats with shut the fuck up. No Amogus. Shut up. Matt's not here. <laughs> I 
actually? Is he here? I get it's thematically yes. interesting to have the suits, like, to, to be able to only walk in the suits at the walking speed they have in the movies. It's not mechanically interesting. <laughs> this is very slow. Glitchy lift. Is this the terminal? Looks like the terminal. Yep. Servo lock on. Parabolic antenna in fixed position. Damn it! It's okay, Ripley. There's an override console by the transmitters. Is that this one? <laughs> Down to your right, question mark. Yeah, I could like it. It is funny now that we have like a level on the outside of the ship. They didn't try to make the ship more like detailed. You can see here that those are just random textures applied over some, like, uh, geometry. It's just random greebles. I mean, I guess technically that's accurate to the original movies, but, like, <laughs> I think they could have done a little more. I can't see anything. I'm changing Matt's role. Fucking Among Us Beetlejuice. Shut up. missed this one. <laughs> hmm? Blinky, blinky, blinky. Oh, I just had to wait for it. What's up? Four blinky things. Can I do anything yet? Yes, I can. Is this gonna be a like do it in order thing? Incredibly slowly. <laughs> oh no, Matt is here now. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like, he called himself the Among Us Beetlejuice in fucking chat. <laughs> is there a save they point jump scare yet? So I don't think the game explicitly has a save point jump scare. It just has the potential for an enemy to attack you while you're trying to save, which is why the saves take three seconds. So there hasn't been like an on purpose jump scare because I've been careful about when I save. Um, how do I, I just need to make it 10 degrees. Where do I need to put it? Oh, I see. Okay. Is there no faster way to do this? 
<laughs> do we really have to do it this slowly? Why does Ripley sound like she's trying to gargle jelly beans through an inhaler? And now we go back. Very, very slowly. No alien jump scare out here. Maybe we'll get one when we get right back to the thing and then we lock it outside. This just sounds like someone's taking a piss. Like in like a metal bucket. <laughs> Walking slowly. This feels like the perfect opportunity to have something happen, but we'll see. <laughs> Oh, there we go. And there's the homie. Guess he's uh not interested. Chances Ricardo actually makes it off the station. <laughs> Fucking nil. Okay. Now we want to go this way. 
Shoot at me, shoot at them. <laughs> there you go. Go away. Fuck off. There we go. Did I see other signs on the station of about what? Did I see that the station has signs, period? I mean, yes, I see, like, these signs. I've been using them the entire game. Which is why I felt like I didn't need to be using the, uh, the maps as much. <laughs> I made the mistake of being a character behind glass from the protagonist. <laughs> well, I guess these are already the. Well, I am running low oh on. Oh, God. oh no, he's been hugged. Oh no. Still going the right way? Kinda. Shit. And I'm out of ammo. Oh, I'm dead. And there was the save station right there. Ooh, silent sound effect. <laughs> yeah, I know there was a safe station. There was not really anything I could do. See, it's got six fingers. Six fingies! I drew the um, xenomorph for the thumbnail for Cass uh, yesterday. It turned out very well. All right, well, this is I might have lots of flame for the ammo, so maybe I'll be a little more, more conservative. Uh oh. Don't to be scared of you. <laughs> no, I'm scared of you. <laughs> the mutual scare. Ricardo, you copy. Ricardo, come in. Alright, we'll be a little stealthy this time. You're not gonna put your dick on the table? Boiling Yutani was the alien for his lubricant line. <laughs> Maybe cut that a little close.
Nope. Button, button. Nope, I'm dead. <laughs> Silent again. Not really sure what's up with the sound effects not happening. It's you. That's what's going on. <laughs> Alright, we'll try this one more time. In space, no one can hear you die. <laughs> Ricardo, do you copy? Ricardo, come in. on the guy this time? Guess not. <laughs> we made it. I don't know if I can actually see it in there, or if I just hear it. It looked like I could see it. Ricardo? Look up. More like Rip Ricardo. Ricardo. Oh, no. Shut up! Pretty sure he's about to walk right up on me. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe we are a okay. <laughs> Something. 
Go away. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, just fucking plowed into you. It wasn't even after me, it was after the other guy. Oh, fuck off. Walk in this hallway. I did. Awesome. Let's go. Am I still going the right way? Yes. Yes. Is this All right. Is we made it. I'm surprised they haven't had any elevator jump scares. Honestly, like it feels like. Uh, I mean, again, that's just the game having actual restraint and not doing those things. Mm -hmm. Like, not even once. Must have been socks are uncomfy. Don't say it, chat. What? Live stream chats tend to have a thing of feet. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. And the socks are going back on. <laughs> Gotta hate this place. Okay, so it looks like humans and the alien are in this area. But I will be deleting feet messages. Do fucking not. If it's smoky enough that he doesn't immediately see me. Can't trust anyone. Gotta make my own way. Looks like I can use the blowtorch on the store. Yep. <laughs> he is definitely gonna walk in. Trying to push my buttons. Get going. I am down to my- <laughs> You had your last- 
last chance. Okay, that's it. What the fuck is this pop? <laughs> oh, it's a blister. Got no eyes. I wasn't exactly. Right. Go away. There go. go quicker, please. Back down. Can I? 1851. This is some clear. Oops. You guys took too long down there. I had to power down this facility and take the last transit. We can't afford to keep the sanctuary wide open. All it'll take is one creature to get in, and all the supplies and weapons we've taken will come to jack shit. So I guess that's the other door that I didn't check is the one at five one. I'm sorry. I'm gonna craft a med oh, kit. Okay. Chasing after a ship that'll never guess I won't craft a med kit. You broke with the plan. Sinclair out. Yeah, you want to hold a little itty bitty torch up to the alien, uh, feel free. I don't think that's <laughs> gonna work out all that well. How many times has, like, well, how many times has the alien been killed with an ion torch to have it adapt to it? Huh? Huh? You ever think of that, Will? Save station. It, wait, isn't it like a thing with the fucking aliens though? Like, what? they they're the they're like the fucking. I'm, I'm arguing with cheapers here. Uh, they're like the apex fucking species, and they got to that point by like, fucking impregnating other fucking species with themselves, like parasites. I'm not sure that that's smart. I think they just reproduce. I don't think they're... They're, well, they're still like, animals. Like, they have... Like, they're not like the predator, where... The predator... Actually has intelligence. I think the aliens just hunt. No, because I remember there's, like, different... Different, like, variants of the alien. And right. it... Because the aliens... These variants like, happen... These variants happen... Oh, come on! What, these variants happen by what the, by what the chest bursters, burst out. Did anybody else see how stupid that was? It was under, yeah, it was under a fucking box. It's an at fucking asshole. They're not sentient. Yeah, no shit. I know, I know they're not sentient. Like they don't, they don't choose what species and stuff they procreate with. They're just like, they hunt, and then I think. I'm not sure Alien vs. Predator is considered canon, but, like, the the Predators hunt the aliens. Yeah, it steals DNA from the host. Thank you, Anthony. That's what I was trying to say. It steals DNA from the host. So how many fucking species out there fucking has Ion Torch immunity? Fuck you. That's what I was trying to say. Thank you. Fuel. Yay. I got here when they were stealing the sanctuary. I don't know what I expected. Maybe they changed their mind and let me in. 
Maybe they treat hmm? me dead. A door? Is that what I have? Damn it. That killed me. Oh, interesting. When I reload the save, the alien's not right there. Hmm. So it doesn't keep track of the alien's spot. Does it also randomize loot, or is this for the... Oh, I guess it randomizes loot. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Fuck! This is going to make lots of noise. I can't stand up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> like everybody gets quiet. <laughs> Anytime the alien shows up. Well, okay, yeah. Deal. What do you mean, well, yeah? This is an alien. It's scary. Scary alien. Oh, the stream stopped for there for a scary second. Scary alien. Oof. Stream starting to fuck up. Chat's yelling at the sh about the stream. Yeah, I know. Uh, can't really do anything about that. I don't know if it's. I don't know what the issue is. Is the stream on Discord still good? Because I don't know if it's YouTube. Yeah, the stream or on Discord internet. is fine. So it's probably just YouTube. Like, well, the weird thing is, like, my YouTube stream is going fine. Your YouTube like I'm stream. Having no well, I'm, I'm watching my YouTube stream and it's not doing well. So I think it is YouTube. But you fucking cut out there for a second and now Discord's starting to go out the shitter. Oh, okay. Then it is my internet. No data. <laughs> Okay. Um, I'm gonna see what's going on with that. Uh,
it's for sure my internet. Hmm. Okay, mm. looks like it may have fixed. Is everything smooth again? Uh, it looks smooth on my end. It's very hot in my room. <laughs> Open a window. Ooh, my upload speed is really bad. Uh-oh. Um. Well, I'm sure it looks fine right now, chat, but it is um pretty latent. Um. Ooh, 88 ping. Yeah, okay, 150 ping. Yeah, okay, my internet's being bad right now. Um, so we have two choices. We either just uh, let it ride out and hope it fixes itself and try and finish the game tomorrow when the internet fixes. What do you guys think? Because the internet's bad. Give it 30 minutes. All right, we'll give it 30 minutes. So I'll continue like to stream right and out. record. Um, hopefully it smooths out. Um, if anybody joins, just let them know what's going on. Because I have a feeling we're within... looking at, huh? That's right. Walk away. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> he went all the way around to try and get me? Apparently so. Fuck off. Please let this terminal be useful. Nope. Orbital stabilizer failure. 
Abandoned station. Abandoned station. Key card required. Does this guy have the key card? Nope. Alright, so there's a key card around here somewhere, probably on a corpse. a passcode on the terminal, but I'll check it again. Fuck off. Looks like the internet fixed itself. 1984. Literally 1984. Get out of my head. What, the easiest joke in the world? Uh, right. Get out of, yes, that's kind of my thing. <laughs> to do it. Probably not. But we're doing it anyways. I'm assuming this is going to be locked. Oh, I had a torch. Okay. Oh, no, but I think this is going to be a code and then I have to go the other way. That's why the other direction is a thing. No, also no, I'm getting it wrong. <laughs> Works for me, that's less work on my part. Is that all that was the swing? Hey chat moderator, good job. Is somebody making fun of you or are you actually doing a good job? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I have to, oh, you're saying a good job, I have to read through all of this shit. Buddy, not nothing that you guys say has even come close to the shit that I've said in the Discord. So don't even don't fucking even. <laughs> don't flatter yourself. What? 
After evacuation, you should not re enter the station. Tell advised to do so by the orbital. bag so there must be a way to turn on the power or something that I missed in here maybe this way Lady, excuse me. You want no tally? Come on, she's showing up no, on that stuff. No, they're talking about the voice lady in the game. The voice lady in the game. What is somebody yeah, the, trying to the, ship the, me with the voice lady? I guess. <laughs> I'm into physical ladies, not voice ladies. Oh. Ruins my chances. Pretty sure there are other reasons that wouldn't work out. But the fact that I'm a, that I'm absolutely batshit fucking crazy, yeah, sure. God, I just saw it. There it is. Oh, this generator is already on, and I just opened... The door? Can I save? I should save. Uh, there was no Halo that came out in 2005. <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way, but I fall asleep to your videos. <laughs> His voice is soothing! My voice is soothing? Yes! Oh, I do the exact same shit. Emergency. Emergency. Please attend your assigned evacuation point and wait for your synthetic emergency board. This isn't where I just was, right? This is a new room. <laughs> Flamethrower is now in the Of 
course, generators can't just work. Your voice is tolerable. My voice is tolerable. <laughs> well, I guess I'm a I am going the wrong way. What? Great. Yeah, at least I have enough. For a med kit. For one med. This is not a drill. Okay, lines back down in that room. Well, this isn't good. Because if he comes out here, then I'm just gonna die. Like I said, I'm just gonna die. Um, yummy Ripley face. Okay, so this is before the generator failure. So we're going this way. So it's just making noises it didn't see me. Okay, so it's down over there. mosquito that bit me the other day and I swatted it when it was like halfway done and my arm is super itchy in that spot. Use my flashlight here. Fuck it. <laughs> Got lucky with that save. He's right there. to go there. <laughs> okay, he's leaving. I, nope. Okay. Okay, 
Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about, Five Nights at Freddy's? My thank you. I don't have to waste flamethrower if you want. Chat is fucking going nuts as per usual. Okay. It's fucking talking about fucking FNAF and whatnot. Slowly through the vents. Shit, no, I'm dead. Oh, no, I can use my flamethrower. Wait! It didn't let me have my flamethrower at any other time. I was not prepared for that. <laughs> well, at least I saved pretty close by. Okay, and this time the alien may not drop on me, so. That's uh, better. Okay. You know what was funny is I was gonna say, hey, I haven't seen the alien in event yet. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like it might be scripted to be there though. We'll find out. I guess not. I guess I just got unlucky. Sebastopol, this is Diane Verlain of the Torrens. I am attempting to dock on the tow platform below your space flight terminal. She's attempting to dock, chat. Talk about that. <laughs> oh, no. So who is with Will? Friends at his place or online? Friends online. This is Tally. Hi. And Anthony is sitting silently in the Anthony's not here. <laughs> Discord. He was there earlier. <laughs> You know, Will doesn't lock me over. <laughs> I, I, I smell too much. Orbital stabilizer failure. Abandoned station. Abandoned station. Yeah, I got a little stuck on some geo. <laughs> F you. You always know a working joke. Ah, oh, there we go. There's Anthony. Hello! I told you he was chat. here. Chat wants, chat wants you to babysit them. They're tired of me. What the fuck, chat? Apparently I'm not fun enough. You all tired of babysitter Tolly here?
It's okay. The the cool so babysitter's so here. <laughs> Who me? <laughs> yeah. I brought ribs. Anyone want some? <laughs> I'm good with mine, thank you. Ah, uh, we all need extra ribs. No. Aren't you ready for the apocalypse? Um, I guess I need to go down on the other side. I get that way. Is this gonna open? Ah, here we go. Uncle Tally, do you mean Aunt Tally? <laughs> I think they're getting me and Anthony mixed up. Yeah. Look, my real name's Robert, so y'all have to call me Uncle Bob. I fucking refuse. Uncle Bob and Uncle Bill. God, no. Look, everyone needs an Uncle Bob. Okay, what was the point of going in there then? Um, does that mean Will is daddy? God no. Oh, God. what? No. Oh God, this um, yeah, this this has gone a little too far. Yeah, I told you, you chat's been on one today. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna sit here, watch the chaos, eat my ribs, and get the shit scared out of me from this video game. I've been having a good time. Ah, here we were go. you here? Were you here for my Nyquil Skittles? Uh, no, I don't yeah. think I was. I had a packet of Skittles, and like now I'm trying not to fall asleep. <laughs> of course, you went through a sugar overload when you ate the whole fucking thing. But. I no, I've had way more fucking sugar before, and I've been perfectly fine. Tally, you, you know there's this thing called getting older. I'm 20. Speaking dude. of getting older, um, you can tell I'm old because <laughs> I got an ice machine in the mail today from my parents as my, as a birthday gift, and that was the most <laughs> exciting part of my day. Dude, no. Like, fucking ice machines are fucking great. I love those fuckers. I've loved those fuckers since I was like nine years old. Oh my god. I, the other day, it's not an ice machine, but I got a fucking cooler for my car that plugs into the Ryan, socket. Holy me? shit, that thing's amazing. I have a contact. fucking, I have a, a hot dog toaster. Oh my god. I think you like hot dogs. Just have a hot dog Initiate dog docking! Initiate docking! Oh god, what the fuck? No, I will not be participating, so don't fucking ask. Um. Are they underneath? Yes, I have a car, people. I am a functioning human. Are you? No. I've seen your setup. Let's be honest. Yeah, let's be honest, I'm not. <laughs> Is this the thing I'm supposed to be using for this? It doesn't seem like it. I don't, don't. 
No, I will say though, that fucking cooler saved my ass when I when I uh, took a road trip down to Texas. Ah. I'm not even fucking kidding, man. Texas. So, um, me and my friend were we did a road trip down to Texas, and my AC unit fucking died in the middle of the trip, and we were like, "What the fuck?" My car just went through its inspection, everything was fucking clean, and yeah, it fucking died. It was 100% humidity, we were in Florida, because we were trying to get the artist, see the Artemis launch, and yeah, AC fucking died, boiling out, like, over 100 degrees, and yeah, it was terrible. Um, and that cooler kept every fucking drink of ours ice fucking cold. Saved my damn life. Even ice chest in your trunk, forehead. It would have melted. No, the chest made out of ice don't melt. Simple. Learn thermodynamics. <laughs> Look, okay, Lilith. I didn't willingly entirely go to Florida. I went to go see a rocket launch. That didn't end up happening. So. And yes, we're just going to ignore Tali's absolute disregard of the second law of thermodynamics. I string words together. You should know this. <laughs> I string words together because they sound pretty, not because I know what they mean. Yeah, what sucked about the road trip was that we were about 30 minutes away from Cape Canaveral and we were listening to the pre-fueling, so we were listening to NASA's uh, live communications and 30 minutes before we actually pulled up to the Space Center, they scrubbed the launch. So, uh, we still went through NASA because your ticket gives you full access to the entire facility, so we still did a tour and it was amazing. Uh, if you've not been to NASA, I highly recommend you go. Um, but, yeah, that was a trip. Uh, two fuckers from... One from Philadelphia and one from, essentially, Canada. Um, you know, driving down to the hottest places in the, in the fucking country. It, yeah, it, it sucks. It, it sucks. <laughs> Nerd. Oh, Jesus Christ! Um, okay, I'm confused uh, about, I? was he lower? Yeah, that actually lower. scared yeah. me. Because I heard him, <laughs> but I didn't see him. <laughs> but I, I saw, I saw him out of the, I saw him. Oh, I gotta do the whole section again. Are you close enough oh, for radio sucks. contact? I'm here. Ripley, thank God, I hear you. I need you to extend the dog cradle plan quickly. There are two. Well, at least I know what I'm doing this time, so it'll be a little faster. But that sucks. You know what sucks about this whole Artemis story? The next launch attempt is at 12.07 a.m. Space doesn't give a fuck about your sleep schedule. Yeah. And... Me driving down the floor was the second attempt to watch the launch. Me and my dad flew down the first time, and they scrubbed it then. At this point, I think I'm just bad luck for the launch, so I'm not going the next time. My, my heart's beating real fast from that one jump. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the only hey, time the game has not... legitimately scared me. <laughs> like, how, they've, they've had a couple of like, get... jump scare moments, but like that was a pure scare. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Like, like, how did my jumpy ass? Oh shit! Hey, Austin, Austin Kosa, welcome to the uh, welcome to the channel. Join the channel membership. Hey, how cool. thanks for the channel membership. Um, if anybody doesn't know, uh, channel members get uh, early access to videos, and it's a dollar. Literally a dollar. It's a better deal than Twitter verified. 
true. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Forgot about this guy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that means it's not the right way anymore. Everyone wants to be my enemy. Was it this way? This door's not open. Oh, no, I have to engage the plant first. I'm skipping bits. No, so uh, launch times are, are based off of um, the relationship between the Earth's position. I wasn't paying attention, and I'm dead. Nice. And I have to oh, do this thing again! Ranger, hey, thanks, welcome Ranger. to... Yeah. I'm sure this gameplay is perfect right now. <laughs> Ridley, I'm awaiting your signal. Do you really? I should probably oh, make a channel members. Um, Ridley, uh, can you hear me? Are you close That's going to be difficult contact? to manage, but yeah. I'm here. Ridley, Maybe there's a bot that can help you do that. Um, anyway, so they base the launch schedule off of the relationship of the moon's position to Earth. So they have to launch at a specific date and time in order to get it with the closest apoasis orbit. And if you know what apoasis means, then you've been playing way too much Kerbal Space Program. Oh yeah, uh, Will, Dylan says don't forget about the android this time. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will try to remember that. <laughs> yeah, that android totally fucked me. Well, I guess technically it wasn't the android's fault. It was me not paying attention to the vent. Same deal. I blame me, android. <laughs> oh, blame technology. I see how it is. What do they say? Poor craftsman blames his tools. See, I just blame the entire Alien <laughs> franchise for, you know, people hating Android phones. What? <laughs> Ranger, are you excited for KSP2? We're laying, the docking clamps are engaging! Okay, now find the out control room! Okay. Avoid him. Uh. Maybe I can go get the save point. <laughs> the safe station it was out here somewhere right do not know maybe there'll be one up here Since I was away for the majority of the stream so far, um, I'm going to guess you found a shit ton of alien eggs in the station, you burned them, I hope, and then you decided to send the station into a deorbit burn, and now you're um, trying to get off we the station. We didn't send the station into a deorbit burn on purpose, that was the other guy, the one that was in the prison. Oh. Um, Hello. But he, he did do that, that is what's going on. Um, we, okay. we blew up the eggs, um, we, we like blew up that section of the station, I think we like fried them with electricity, 
Um, but okay. eventually the aliens have hatched already and they were immune to it. So we are now just attempting to escape because it's going to crash in front of the atmosphere. I am surprised at how close I was. I feel like that one guy that's gonna show up in the middle of a fucking apocalypse and be like, wait, well, how did it? No, don't tell me, I already know. I mean, it is an alien game. There's. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy guess that alien things happened. Yeah. We changed. Take the 30 minutes to change and definitely don't get hit by the alien during those 30 minutes. Is there two active aliens? I thought there was only one right now. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's what we need. <laughs> okay, so this was another finale fake out. Uh, I didn't even know about that. <laughs> Fucking chat, shut up. No Amogus, no Morbius. Number 12. Okay, I still have one. The He's alien saving a kill by one. It didn't bother to empty your pockets. Have you had a death animation for one of these? Um, sort of. One of them killed me, but it didn't really play the death animation correctly. It kind of just faded to black. Oh. I've seen him before, though. You made that particular face hooker. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, excuse me? <laughs> I gotta... Wh what? What? <laughs> I was the just about to say... Kind of far behind yeah. right now. I, 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 I just jinxed that right hard. <laughs> so, shit. Okay, I, I didn't know I, I had that kind of power. The stream. Um, was the face hunger there and I just didn't see it? Can somebody check that? Uh, it, it just kind of appeared out of nowhere. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah. TBC's right, you just got fucking... Uh... Yank. Shit, what's that? You got sub-zeroed. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> what? Get over here! That's Scorpion, That's Scorpion, fucking idiot! You know, that just goes to show how Come much on, I play. <laughs> You're supposed to be the gamer nerd. You're supposed to know these things. Am I? I don't do fighting games. That's basic I don't knowledge. Either, I... <laughs> oh my lord. So is this yeah, the guy that got me? He was just chasing Probably. me and I didn't notice. Maybe. It isn't Scorpion and Sub Zero uh, very similar in playstyle? No. No! No? They have they had similar looks in the early games, sure. That's probably but why I'm getting confused. Their playstyle is completely fucking different. Yeah, I'm probably getting confused because of them looking similar. Uh, One is blue ninja, the other is Keep making excuses ninja. that you don't know basic pop culture, Anthony. 
you know you what? Tell us about whatever fucking thing in Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> it, it, see, yeah, no, I. Hi. Hello. There's a cutscene. I can't. Really do it. Oh. oh. The tail is clipping to the floor. Um. No, I, I remarkably have very little information on pop culture, but have a lot of information on, like, some really fucking niche and, like, why would you know this shit? You say that, Anthony. Although I am the same way, I still don't fucking know that Scorpion is the kid over here, Ninja. Oh, this is an elevator? This is an elevator. Not anymore. Ripley and her steel bones. The fall of Vader. How am I more cultured, Ranger? What? Now I need to know that explanation. Your knowledge of useless KSP things. Alright. That's Get the cool shit. elevator. Do, 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 do. I said glitchy elevator, this is a ladder. All I know oh, about Mortal Kombat is, is it is the only game I somehow accidentally stole from Steam, so... Whoa! Did I walk into that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought I was far enough away, but no. Um, speaking of accidentally stealing things, um, when uh, I used to play Battlefield 4 yes, Jesus. but... Even if you were on PS4, you had access to the, Just let me make the, it here. the like test server or whatever, whenever that was up, um, and you would you would put in a code to like get it added to your account on PC because it was PC only. Yeah. Um, so I would play it on PC a couple of times for the PTS. Um, and so when I went back, oops. When I went back to uh, play it on PC for pass. Um, I didn't, like, it, it told me I didn't own it, but I had it. So what I did was I went to EA support and I was like, hey, I own Battlefield 4, but it doesn't let me play it on this account. Can you help me out? And he's like, oh, I have confirmed here that yes, you indeed do own this game. It says there's a license for it on your account. So we'll, uh, we'll give you full access to it and you can play it. So I was able yeah. to play the campaign in multiplayer without actually <laughs> paying for it a second time on PC. That's so amazing. I already owned it, but technically I didn't own it the way that EA wanted me to own it, so fuck them. So, <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. So, to explain for those curious, um, I this was, oh, I want to say about 10 or so years ago. Um, probably more like 7. There used to be an exploit on Steam where how older games that you bought a disc for, and this was before Steam was really the platform that hosted PC games, um, or CD games could still be installed on your computer without Steam, but still let, let you register the game on Steam and add it to your library. So the way those worked is they used a DLL file to register that you owned the game. And I was doing some cybersecurity research for a research paper I was doing for my computer science class. And it was about a method of DLL injection, which is a way of essentially breaking software and making it do what it's not supposed to. So I was experimenting with this and somehow, I did not mean to, I successfully injected the um, DLL file for Mortal Kombat, I think 10, Mortal Kombat 10, and it added to my Steam account without me ever purchasing a legitimate copy. I love like hearing Anthony talk about like cool computer techie stuff. I looked over the chat. And I'd love a happy ending from. I'd love. I'd love a happy ending from the game. <laughs> Hey, there's elevator man. Slacking off as always. 
Come on, man. You gotta fix your shit. Hang on, I just gotta you save my game. <laughs> well, Stego Shark, this is what you missed. Um, shit ton of aliens, shit's fucked. We electrocuted all of them. They didn't all die. Um, some asshole decided I'm gonna fucking send this station into the fucking planet, and so we're now dealing with that. And it is funny so that we're kind of do real time reflections just for like one little small moment to see our face. It's just nope, just shows the reflection of the room, but not us. Yeah. So to make an even shorter summary to that, uh, shit's fucked and we're unfucking it. No, we're we're leaving it fucked. We're, we're just trying to get out of the fuck. It. What? Did I just see a body of an alien swing by? No, it's a piece of debris that looks like the body of an alien. We were talking about that earlier. <laughs> uh oh. But yes, there is a piece of debris that looks like an alien's body. <laughs> is it supposed to be... Like, is it the gravity of the planet? That's why I'm sideways? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I think I think that's why. It's the only thing that makes sense. Just keep on going slow, Ripley. No, uh... Keep on gosh. keeping on. related though um God. no so in the game planet coaster you can build fucking roller coasters someone made someone an made alien isolation coaster roller coaster where he says get over here <laughs> you know that would be a really cool roller coaster um no but they made an alien isolation roller coaster that looks fucking amazing you guys see highly recommend you look pop up, in and out of existence there for a sec yeah, we don't. Uh, we just stopped ignore, uh, acknowledging it. So, um, how much you want to bet this game ends with a cliffhanger of like there's an alien egg on the ship somewhere as we leave? I see them. Probably. Look, that we're talking about roller coasters. We were talking about roller coasters. I feel obliged to tell the roller coaster stories. My dumbass used to work in an amusement park. I was a clown. Fuck you! Well, I was a ride operator, so yeah, I was. Might as well been. Clown. I'm a little sad. These ribs are burnt. Oh, I did not. Ah! There's the key card on the uh, other side, did I? No, I didn't. I just opened the thing and then didn't notice the actual key card. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I felt some weird shit working at that amusement park. It was. Do this four times. Holy shit. It's 
exciting. Suspenseful. Gameplay. Uh, anyone else hear that? That. I did not hear that. When you were working on the fourth thing, I heard aliens. Now there will be Isn't a, that a spot gas on giant? that plant. Yes. It is. Did that just explode in orbit? It looked like it hit something. <laughs> it exploded in orbit, most likely. Yeah. When when you actually impact a gas giant like that, it leaves a giant explosion behind um, Berlin, that scars the, the bridge. planet for years. Scars the gas. Gas can't handle a little bit of trolling. I think that's actually. An alien. I think that's actually one way. They believe the uh, the red spot on Venus or Saturn. No, I fucking Jupiter! Know. Jesus Christ! Jeez. Fucking I just space went through nerd. all. I just went through all. Oh, hello. Really, a QTE? Are you fucking kidding? <sighs> what? All time. We're gonna do QTE now. Why? Why is it taking so long to kill us? Maybe we're imagining it. I don't know. That's the end of the game? <laughs> that was dumb. Tell me, we, like, there's more, right? Did this game have DLC? Yeah, there's several DLCs. Um, oh. Well, that was kind of a stupid ending. You were doing so well. Not uh, seen any of the DLCs for this game. Yeah, I've I've heard the DLCs are pretty good. I think there's even a DLC where you play as original Ripley. Huh. Okay, well, that was the end. I mean... That ending was dumb. Mm. But, um, game overall was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Um, it was mechanically interesting enough that, in a way, that most horror games aren't. Because um, a lot of the time, horror games are just like, run away and, uh, run away and hide, but you had enough tools that you weren't constantly having to hide from things. You you were able to choose to fight a couple of times. Especially with the flamethrower. Um, so that was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, the end, that whole ending section was a little more like linear and cinematic, quote unquote, like than it needed to be, I think. I think it probably could have been better if it was still just more... Um, gameplay stuff like the the beginning and middle of the game was 
the second half of the game overall, I feel like maybe reused a couple of things too many times, like the the little puzzle thingy on your handheld thing. But they're fine. They're mostly easy. Um, there was a couple of ones that they threw right there in one room that were unique to the room that were a little strange, but I got through them first try, so it must not have been that bad. Um, but, like, yeah, if you haven't uh, played this, it's worth playing. It's a good game. I think it's one of the best horror games out there. Um, there's, like, there's a couple sections where they go a little heavy on the um, screen shake. The lens flares are ridiculous. But um, overall, I enjoyed it. Um, the graphics aged very well. So, uh, gr graphically, the, the designs of all the, the places in the game and stuff look really good. They look very much like they fit the into the original Alien yeah. universe. People's faces are awful. They are animated poorly, and they look bad. And this was 2015, I want to say? So, like, there had been better-looking faces by now, um, and better, much better animation. This is really um, so, the fact that we don't see people that many times in the game, and the times that we do see them, they're not animated well, seems like a missed opportunity to make that a little bit better, especially because a lot of the cutscenes are pre-rendered, so they could have made them look better because they're not rendered in the engine. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Um, also, every time I went on a ladder, the frame rate or the, the animation, the frames of the animation were like really jumpy and low um, frame rate. Don't know why that was the case. Um, but in terms of the general gameplay loop, I like, um, I said it was, it's very Metroidvania style where you, you go visit sections of the station. You can't get into them quite yet until you have a tool. Um, and you come back later and use the tool, and it's like, oh, I remember where this was, and now I can go through these areas that I couldn't. Um, I very much enjoy um, that that Metroidvania style of game, and I think more games would benefit from having that style that they instead tried to pad the game in other ways, especially games that have player-driven unlock trees, I think would work a lot better if they got rid of the unlock trees and made it more styled towards um, a metroidvania um did anybody have any specific questions uh garrison wants to know what the next game you think you might be playing is um i'd have to check i, I think it's probably it'll probably be metal gear rising revengeance yeah that game's gonna be Interesting. Yeah, and um, I just opened up a um, in on my Discord. I keep a list of games that I'll be playing, and I just opened up a thread for people to suggest their own games because uh, people suggest games regardless, and might as well have a place to keep it all. When will my next stream be? Probably Monday or Tuesday. We'll see. Um, tomorrow I DM for a D and D group, so I probably won't be doing it after that because I'll probably be pretty tired. Do you ever review old games? Um, I mean, I haven't really done a cast of games that were that old. I think the oldest one would have been uh, Half-Life, and that's very popular. Um, the thing is, like, I'm not a big enough presence on YouTube to just do any game that I want. I still need to work up a presence on stuff that's popular before I start going into, like, things I just want to do because I want to do them. Um, so I'm still, like, I want to do XCOM 2, but nobody's going to watch XCOM 2. Like, there, there'll be some people who will watch my content regardless, but, like, as a wider YouTube audience, people aren't going to watch that yet, so I need to wait. Um, do you think the abundance of side characters helped or hurt the story? Were there, were there that many side characters? I, I feel like Not the really. story was pretty basic in a good way. And this, this whole game actually has, like, very good restraint on, like, what's going on. Because they could have gone the Dead Space route and just had things continually get more and more ridiculous. 
Um, but, like, the most ridiculous this gets is that there are multiple aliens and the station is, like, crashing from orbit. And that's relatively mild in terms of, like, escalations, but it works well because the whole game is very slow-paced in a good way. Um, and you, you make your way through it um, at your own pace, avoiding enemies or, or dealing with them as you like. So I think the story is very basic and the side characters really only show up a couple of times. Um, I'm not even sure if they really intend for you to feel all that bad for them when they die because it's just side characters in like an alien thing. I mean, even in the first movie, like a couple of the characters don't get fleshed out well enough that you like feel for them when they die. They're just meant to be there and die. Um, but like there was enough story that it served the plot uh, or served the purposes of like going from place to place and it wasn't overbearing to the point where I was like bored of the plot which is good because um, they can tend to get that way <laughs> how does this game compare to Aliens Colonial Marines Aliens Colonial Marines <laughs> is like top tier garbage it's it's awful like, this is by far the best Alien game, even, and I I have, I haven't played the new one that's like the Left 4 Dead thing, but even I heard that was, gets a bit repetitive. I will say, like, in terms of escalations, um, like, deorbiting a station that is completely infested with a parasite into a gas giant is actually something fairly reasonable if it is if shit is that fucked so that's that is a very realistic way to get rid of the problem and I actually appreciate that this movie tie in video game I don't know if this counts as a movie tie in it's a game based on a movie yeah. franchise but it's not really did it I mean maybe maybe one of the maybe one of the alien movies came out around the time but I don't think it was an actual tie in yeah, tie-in is more like, oh, hey, oh, robots. Robots for the Xbox 360 mm. was a video game tie-in. Um, it was cool going through this and seeing, like... Because Alien is a hugely influential franchise for sci-fi. If, if a modern sci-fi game isn't inspired by Alien, it's inspired by Blade Runner. Um, but, like, this aesthetic of, like, 80s futurism, I love. I love it in the original Star Wars. I love it in Alien... I love it in Blade Runner. Um, the aesthetic is just super cool of like what they thought was futuristic 40 years ago. Um, and so it's funny to see like, oh, in the future, they have CRT monitors and big analog buttons that do flashy things and, and just like rooms full of flashy buttons. What do they do? Who knows? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, so it was cool seeing that and all the stuff they had. Um, just the aesthetic is super cool because... I mean, I love Halo, and Halo was heavily inspired by the aesthetic of Alien and, like, 90s anime at the time. So, like, Ghost in the Shell, which was also inspired by that, like, 80s futuristic look from Alien. So, like, this is, besides Star Wars, this is the most influential sci-fi franchise of all time. And so it's fun to see it, like fully fleshed out in like a good experience because there have been a lot of crappy alien games any advice for the, new um, players like the, I mean this isn't a multiplayer game learn through the tutorial and play the game <laughs> yeah I think what I love about this game is that there is a lot of soft sci-fi genre uh, shows out there. Like um, Star Trek, for example, is more soft sci-fi than hard sci-fi. And what I mean by that, if you're not familiar with the terms, is uh, soft sci-fi is like, oh yeah, we're going to have this scientifically fictitious device that can do this thing, and we are not going to even try to explain how it works. It, it just works. Whereas hard sci-fi no, actually I, has reasoning. On. I disagree with that because a lot of Star Trek episodes go into excruciating depth about how their technology works to the point of it's kind of boring in some of the episodes where they explain in depth on how things work. 
It's I'm sci- thinking Star more Trek of... is very hard sci-fi. It's not necessarily I might be thinking of realistic sci-fi, season. but um, definitely in, especially like the next generation and the original, they go a lot into that. I, I might be thinking of a different um, run of the show, um, but stuff like this is hard sci-fi, and I, I really appreciate when hard sci-fi really goes into detail on how the world works because it makes things more believable. Having all the technology pretty much uniformed, and even though this is retro sci-fi, I fucking love it because the way they've constructed it just makes sense for the technology they're going for. Um, do I think that the IGN 6 out of 10 is justified? No, this game is better than a 6 out of 10. I don't really yeah. do number uh, reviews because I think a number is too all-encompassing of things because some games could have a really good overall experience and there could be specific parts of the game that I disagree with completely that I would consider like a 1 out of 10, but the overall experience could be like a 9 out of 10. Like, do I average that out and call it like a six or a seven? Like, no, I would consider the game like this. There's a couple of parts that were kind of frustrating, I think, especially during the. All the the Android section after you got rid of the first alien as if there's not going to be more aliens. That section was kind of frustrating. There was too many androids and there was a couple of parts where it seemed kind of unavoidable to get around them unless you waited a really long time and I wasn't about to wait that much. Um, so that part was kind of frustrating. I would say that's a crappy part, but that doesn't that wasn't bad enough to like bring down the overall experience. So I like to go on a do I think it's good? Do I recommend it kind of scale? And yes, I think it's good. And yes, I recommend it. Will I ever do Gears 2? If Gears 2 is ever on PC, I only have a PC. Uh, I think it might. Let me check Game Pass. Uh, no, Gear, the, the only Gears games on Game Pass are Gears 1, 4, and 5. Because um, Gears uh, 2 and 3 are not on PC. Give it a letter review. Uh, w for Willie Also. Or S for subscribe to Willie Also. <laughs> uh, Could there Gears be a of Doom War Eternal 1. Live playthrough? I've already played through Doom Eternal, so no. <laughs> uh, Gears one is on pc so the red letter media type oh. review yeah i guess so i mean i yeah i like red letter media a lot um and just them because i think a review is better like obviously number reviews are there for people who want to know right off the gate is this good or bad is it worth playing a number of you is good because it's like oh audiences generally give this 75 percent. that's an okay score i can det- determine from that whether or not I should play this game. But I think it would be better if scores in general were, do I think it's good? Do you, should you play it? Because there are games I would say that are bad that you should play, like um, Ride to Hell Retribution. In no way whatsoever is that good. Should you play it? Yeah. You, you may not, I don't maybe recommend beating it, but like Ride to Hell Retribution is so bad it's worth playing at least once to see how bad it is oh, that yeah. kind of thing um are you keen on playing rts i'm not super into rts i'm more into turn-based strategy i fucking love like xcom um i really liked um i can't remember what it was it was by the guys who made uh faster than light but it was you it's a it's a turn-based strategy where you play as mechs and you fight aliens or yeah, I know what bugs. you're talking about, and I'm, uh, I'm into the forgetting bridge. as well. That's what it was. Into the yes. Bridge. And then yes. Uh, Gears Tactics was fun. Um, I really want to play the Mario uh, Rabbid, Mario and Rabbids games. Um, I haven't oh, had a yeah, chance to play good. them, but I have actually heard they're good. They are. Very strangely, very, very similar to XCOM. Would you ever play Force Unleashed? I think it's on the list. I'm, I mean, those games aren't very good. <laughs> I like to call it the Sony problem where you're like, oh, yeah, it looks great, but has some problems with it. Yeah, all right. Any any um, anything else that's not recommendations for cast, because you can do that on my discord server in the channel. I, I don't really need to answer all that here. Yep. Um, any double A games I consider worth playing? Um, 
we're talking double A. That's there, I mean, there's not really honestly many double A games anymore. You really get like yes. indie or triple A. I, I mean, I can't remember the last double A game that I've played. Um, I, I would consider something like Coffee Stain and Satisfactory more double A. Because like no, those they're are not still indie. indie. No, those are indie. Are, yeah. Really? They've been around for a while and they're they're fairly large studio. At this Any point. game mechanic in isolation that I super hated? QTEs. QTEs are stupid. I will talk about this all day. QTEs are the laziest form of player engagement. There there are points in the game where they have you like, you know, press two buttons, press another button to like uh open a latch or or pull a thing. Those aren't QTEs because those are just activating a switch and those those are meant to be designed in a way that if there's an enemy or something around you need to be able to remember to do that and if you fumble it that's on you and that's part of the horror aspect so those are fine but there are sections of the game where you're like climbing a ladder and it's like press e press e to jump jump again or or there at the end press backspace press backspace that's not actual player engagement that's just making sure you're paying fucking attention because they want to have some form of player engagement without actually giving you full control. I don't give a fuck. Give me a cutscene or give me full control of my character. A QTE is not that. It is stupid. There is not a single time a QTE is actually good. Yeah. Like, it, it actually felt extremely disappointing when they did that, that final cutscene. Like, that, that was shitty. What moment in this game scared you the most? It was there near the end of the game. I was walking up some stairs and I heard the alien coming, but I thought it was above me. And then it came from below me. And that was that was like the only part that legitimately scared me. There was a couple of jump scares that like, you know, everybody gets got by jump scares. But that, that part like actually fucking scared me. What's my favorite alien death animation? Um... I mean, probably the classic, like, it opens its mouth and then the little thing comes out at you. I, uh, that's about it. Play Hollow Knight? I've played Hollow Knight. I streamed Hollow Knight a little bit. I need to finish it, but... Again, that's a game that, like, the stream for Hollow Knight didn't do well, so I don't re... And I don't really think it fits for, like, a cast style. And I had tried, um... With Destiny 2, the with absolutely no problems whatsoever. And that video didn't really do well, so I'm going to put that series on like the back burner for now and maybe go back to it later. But I'm going to be focusing on games that fit for cast for now before I do anything else. Because I only have so much time in the day, and I don't make enough money to hire an editor to do those kinds of things. So it's all just me. Um, so, you know, I do my own scripts, my own editing, my own thumbnails. Um, so like it's a it's a lot of work per video. <laughs> What's my most controversial Halo opinion? Um, that Sprint is good. Um, just the the ability to press a button and go slightly faster is important for player feedback and feeling that I have control over my character. Maybe if the character's base movement speed was faster, it wouldn't be that bad. But even in Doom Eternal which doesn't have a sprint button. They have a dash button, which helps with player responsiveness, so it's not necessarily a sprint, um, but that's still a button that makes you go faster. I don't think they need to go as far as fucking Call of Duty, where there are two sprint buttons. There's the sprint button and the sprint faster button, which I think is a bit ridiculous, but I, I think sprint is important, or a button that makes you go fast, like, like Eternal has. What are some games I want to play on stream? I'll just be going through the cast list. I may try, like, if the streaming gets better and people are enjoying it a lot, I may be able to do other games that may not fit for cast, that may be nice and short, that won't take me long. Um, or, or, like, games that fit in, like, a live stream setting that will would have good, um, like, chat engagement. Um, also on that front, like, XCOM would be fun because then I could I could name the characters after like my patrons first and then if people made donations or whatever then I could name characters after the donators on the stream that would be fun who 
It was my favorite location in the game to play through. I mean, generally the gameplay loop of the game is just kind of the same throughout. Um, nothing immediately stands out to me. I may remember bits as I go back through it, um, but I have pretty bad memory. And it was the same with like the Dead Space 2 playthrough. Um, I think in the in the real thoughts, I had an idea of where my favorite part of the game was, but when somebody asked me after I finished, didn't really remember. But um, I, I'll probably remember that later. I'm not answering questions about what games are going to be for Cass. Do you think the slow walking sections add anything? Fuck no. The slow walking sections were dumb as hell. The... <laughs> They, they were way overly long, especially the part where you, you're playing as the guy doing his backstory. That's ridiculously long. Um, they're, uh, like, the, the game just slows to a crawl, and it's not like there's anything interesting going on. It's all just visual, and, and even then, the visuals were not all that exciting. That was dumb. Any games that would be a cast if you didn't have to bend to the algorithm? That's a good mm. question. That's a really good question. Maybe the Sonic games. I think the Sonic games would be fun. I, I may do Sonic Frontiers because I think that'll be kind um, with the algorithm. But the Sonic games are the right amount of stupid bullshit uh, to good I or bad in some cases. So like Everybody's got nostalgia for Sonic, um, and Sonic's such a great series that because Sonic Team has like a coin flip on whether a Sonic game ends up good. Because for every like good Sonic game, there's like seven shitty ones. Um, Sonic Frontiers kind of looks like it may end up one of the good ones. I was a little skeptical, but they showed off that um, really nice animation with the like prologue with knuckles that actually looked pretty cool and the writing on that seemed solid so i'm i've been looking at it with interest you know i grew up on the um sega genesis sonic so i loved sonic one through three um i, I played those all the time never beat any of them because i was never good enough to do that but i definitely played hours and hours of those why are people talking I... about ben Shapiro? Oh, they think I look I like know. Ben Shapiro. <laughs> That's so insulting. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, yeah, and then Sonic, like the best part about every Sonic game is the music. The Sonic music is always oh, yeah. amazing. Oh, um, the even, butt even rock the bad is ones. great. Um, like, the hot the take, Sonic the Adventure the 2 is not as good as there. everyone says, but like, the music in that is super memorable and it's nostalgic. Oh, for my reason. God, yes. Like, everybody knows Did that song. City Escape is so good. Like when I when I was playing Sonic Generations, when I heard the remix of Cityscape, I went fucking nuts, dude. It was so good. Mm -hmm. Um, but I I actually I personally really like Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure Two. It's probably nostalgia glasses. Um, but I actually really enjoyed Sonic Ge Generations when I played that as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, someone was asking what my favorite weapon was. Definitely the flamethrower because that was the thing I could actually use to like bend the alien to my will to like get it to go away. <laughs> um, the combat was fine. Most of the time in horror games, they intentionally make the combat clunky and bad to uh, dissuade you from using it. But I feel like this was smooth enough that it didn't feel too clunky to use. It definitely wasn't yeah. like first person shooter level smooth. Um, there was clunk to it on purpose, but it felt fine enough. And, you know, Ripley is established as not being like combat expert. Um, so it was it didn't feel terrible to use. It wasn't very stiff. Um, and that's a problem with a lot of horror games is they make the combat stiff and stupid and like not. Uh, they either make it not impactful or too weighty, where it's almost like the character's entire body is just like going through the motions. There was a problem. There's problems with like um, Silent Hill, 
where the animations take far too long for anything for combat. And they do it on purpose, but it feels terrible. There was nothing like that in this. You swing fast. Um, and usually if you, uh, the, the cases where like they make it clunky on purpose is like you can hit an android once and then the android will grab you and, and punish you for doing that. So it's less that the combat is clunky itself and more like the enemies are designed to be able to counter you. So that was a good design decision and that felt not clunky and more natural in a way that, that prevents you from just spamming. Um, and so I think more games could benefit from that rather than making your character slash piece of shit. <laughs> Cause like, Oh yeah, I'm a fully grown adult man who can't swing a two by four without taking five minutes to do so. This is purely for game design reasons. <laughs> I feel like it was pretty easy to get lost without having to check. If you don't check the map all the time, they could have probably made a bit more of a diegetic way to check where you were going without having to constantly pause to look at a map. Um, most of the time it was fine, but there were definitely times I'd have to keep checking the map to make sure I was going the right direction, um, where, like, maybe a button to, like, subtly put a little thing, like, you know, Dead Space does it and have a little line. Did the Halo 2 weapon, uh, did the Halo 2 weapon limit stifle FPS creativity? No. The industry stifled FPS creativity. Um, yep. It's not Halo's fault. The The fact that a lot of games went with the two weapon uh, thing is not necessarily what stifles creativity. It's just the fact that no other game tried to do anything else. There was the couple of, like, there was like a very small amount of games that still had a weapon wheel. Uh, but most games went to that two-weapon system, and mostly because of Call of Duty, actually, rather than Halo. Call of Duty did it, did it because of Halo, and then other games did it because of Call of Duty. And I feel like the FPS genre in general for a long time, probably from, like, 2004 to, like, honestly, like, 2013, really stagnated on, like, what FPS games were because there were so many Call of Duty clones. Um, and that's the industry's fault. That's not Call of Duty's fault or Halo's fault. That's just, they were the ones that inspired that. Um, and that happens with everything. You know, when there's a popular thing, other companies will try to do it. It's the reason Marvel movies have copied themselves. DC tried to be like Marvel, that kind of thing. Um, it's not, a, it's not the one original thing's fault that there are so many dumb knockoffs. Does it annoy you that you couldn't use your guns as clubs? I'm... Uh, no, I mean, you have a melee weapon. <laughs> I think you would get lost with a map staple to your screen. I get lost a bit. I mean, I, I get lost plenty, but like, uh, the map was fine and I was able to get around fine when I was actually looking at the map. When I look back at Halo 3, don't you feel like today's video games feel kind of empty? I don't know if Halo 3 is the best comparison, but like, there's... Uh, I guess this might be a controversial opinion, I have no idea, but I think the... Fidelity ruined game design where as soon as we got to like HD games became harder to develop because there was always that strive for like a good realistic crisp looking game and you, you like people will make the argument like oh companies should stop focusing on graphics and focus more on game design i want that for sure but from a like sales perspective games that don't look realistic don't sell as well as games that do re look realistic like there's a reason call of duty is one of the top selling games every single year and they continue to outsell themselves it's because it looks so realistic regardless of the fact that it doesn't have any style or that the gameplay is stagnated for a lot of regular people if a game looks 
realistic, that's the thing that they want. That's why, um, that's why racing games go for realism and whatever. So a lot of companies have to end up sacrificing a lot of gameplay elements for that chase for realism because they only have so much time in development. Um, where I think if games, if you had a triple A budget game with like an indie aesthetic, you could have like a really mechanically in depth game, and you you rarely see it. You you I think probably the most mechanically in depth game I played recently was like Metal Gear Solid Five, and that's Hideo Kojima going way over budget and way over time to like get these gameplay mechanics in because he's crazy like that. But most companies don't want to put that in with their budget and time. So you don't get that a lot anymore. You get really basic games that... I mean, even even now, there are so many games where gameplay elements are stripped out and they can't get it out in time. Uh, Halo Infinite. Um, uh, that was... I mean, that's the big one. But, like, every game nowadays is unfinished at launch because they push so hard for the fidelity to look good because that's what sells a game, is if it looks good in the trailers, people will want to buy it. And then they patch it later because they know, well, people will buy it and then we can decide that we need to fix it. Um, and there's stuff like um, Elden Ring. Graphically, so uh, I, I say, I, I want to preface this with art design and graphics are different. The art direction of Elden Ring is awesome. Graphically, the game looks kind of like a PS3 game. It's... Yeah, like there's more on screen than what a PS3 game would be able to render, especially with the like level of detail. But in terms of the texture work and, and stuff like that, it looks not great because they were able to focus a lot on the gameplay elements. And there's a lot of gameplay elements in Elden Ring, especially with like the amount of weapons and magic and things like that. Um, so that shows where they can like focus more on one thing than the other, and that's where all their budget goes. But it looks good enough that they can sell it on the graphics, or make trailers that have like pre-rendered stuff. And also the fact that the company is well known enough that they can sell it on just being a FromSoft game. Because there's like I think Elden Ring looks worse than the. Demon Souls remaster, which was technically not from Soft. I think that was a, a different company remastered it. But like that's showing like the graphics could have been better, but they chose not to focus on that for for more important things to them. Um, um and I don't think that's gonna change anytime soon, unfortunately. Um, unless there's like a total industry crash. Um But uh, until games start selling on the gameplay games will sell on the visuals so that's why so many companies focus on the visuals first not not first as in they start with the visuals because there was there was that whole ridiculous thing where somebody was like oh i can't believe gta 6 looks so shitty don't you know <laughs> art is done first which was the stupidest thing i'd ever heard but Couldn't that also just be because of being big names? Like, how many new games from out of the blue devs with amazing graphics have taken things by storm? I think you just disproved your own question. Because there are so many, like, indie games that gain popularity because they look, like, visually high fidelity when their gameplay loop isn't actually that good. Um, and that's what sweeps it, is because graphically it looks amazing. And... That I, the, the the appeal of indie games is that you get games that are focused on strong mechanics and a good loop rather than um, necessarily the best graphics. A lot of indie games have really strong art direction. Like, I love Risk of Rain. Hades uh, recently was great. Um, I've been... I, I need to get back into um, Bullets Per Minute. That also has a very strong art style. Or graphically, they're not the best looking games ever, but they have a strong art direction to them and they're memorable looking. Um, but they wouldn't sell as well as generic, super realistic looking game, whatever. Half-Life 2 looked good because of its art direction. Yeah, also because it had 
really nice animation for the time. Um, people walking around hasn't really aged in greatly because it looks very hand keyed um, as in keyframe animation, but the facial animations still hold up pretty well, especially compared to, I mean, they're better than this. <laughs> I have a hard time looking past graphics. I have to brace myself to play older games. Yeah, um, a lot of older games, especially if they had realistic look or like realistic looking graphics for the time, do not age well. Um, there are definitely older games where they have like a stylized look to them that age better. Like I think maybe the amount of polygons in like the old Ratchet and Clanks are like pretty low because they were PS2, but like they're animated well enough that you can if you can look past the like low quality of the models, they they hold up and the gameplay is still good. A lot of PS2 games actually still have pretty good gameplay. Um, none of the shooters, none of the shooters from that era, but like third person action games mostly still hold up pretty well from the PS2 era. Um, I wouldn't necessarily consider Ratchet and Clank a shooter, even though it's they like guns is part of the primary gameplay loop. Yeah, Okami is a good example of, like, an older game with a nice art style. Um, and these are games that, like, if they made, like, an HD re-release or whatever, where they just sort of smoothed out the designs a little bit and, and re-released it like that, I think those would still hold up pretty well. Um, I love Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts 2 still looks great. There are definitely parts that haven't aged well and, like, textures and things that don't look all that amazing, but, like, Animation-wise, it still holds up pretty good in most places. Um, any last questions before I wrap up? Because this will be where I wrap up. Time to go play Prey. I will, uh, yeah, that, that does remind me. I probably should go play Prey for cast at some point. What's my favorite Halo game? Halo 2. That was easy. There's a fork in the road. Do you go left or right? I pick up the fork. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All the Metal Gear Solid games aged beautifully. I don't know if I agree with that. Metal Gear Solid's always made to, been made to look like yeah. pretty realistic and... Like, I mean, in the first game, their mouths don't even move. It's that old. So, like, their faces are just, like, blocks. Does the disastrous Halo 2 development change your opinion on Halo 3? Why would that change my opinion on Halo 3? I don't understand that question. Let's not compute. Have a good night, even though it's still the afternoon for me. Wrong. Time zones do not exist. <laughs> Halo 3 is sort of the cut stuff from 2. So I think that's a bit of a misnomer. There were definitely ideas from Halo 2 that they brought into Halo 3, but there's... Um, let me double check the name of the channel. There is a channel I highly recommend watching that has put in a ton of work to animate the old Halo 2 um, storyboards and stuff, and the story was pretty different. His name is C3 Sabretooth. Um, hopefully YouTube doesn't eat this link when I put it in the chat. But that, that's his channel. I highly recommend that you check out his stuff. He is criminally underrated. His, his videos don't get nearly enough views for the amount of work that he puts in. He's putting in like 100,000 subscriber like level of work. And he's got not even 3K subs. Um, totally worth watching his stuff and subscribing. Like, let, let him know that you like that sort of thing. So he keeps going because, like, he's putting in a substantial amount of work. Um, but it goes over the original Halo 2 storyboards and what that would have entailed. So there's, like, bits from 
with from Halo 2 that they brought into Halo 3. But for the most part, it's a pretty different story. So I think Halo 3 is just Halo 2 Part 2 is not as accurate as some people think. Will you do more Far Cry? Yeah, I plan to do more Far Cry. Um, I'm going to try to do it with Junkyard Digs. Hopefully it won't take us eight months to do six, but we'll see. Um, I may do it on and off with Junkyard Digs and have someone sub in. There's a lot of questions about Halo 3's story and weirdness to it. <laughs> um all right well that that's where i'll i'll end it then which studio that ea killed makes you the saddest i don't remember honestly um i don't really have a crazy amount of nostalgia for a lot of older ea games honestly so i couldn't really tell you but I know they kill a lot of studios. Um, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll end it here. Um, thanks to everybody who showed up to the stream. Um, sorry, sorry about when the stream started screwing up because my internet went bad for a moment. Um, but that smoothed out pretty quick. Um, I will be back next week, um, probably with Metal Gear Rising because Matt paid for it. Um, and, you know, that's a big meme game. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be miserable for me because there are many, many QTEs in that game. <laughs> oh, it's my head. It's so my head. <laughs> it's all spammy. It's fun. Big spammy button. I, and if it gets bad enough, I may have to find a mod to, I, to like hold QTEs instead. We'll see if that's a thing. <laughs> But um, I have a feeling, I'm, I'm going to make a prediction, right? I have a feeling when I make a completely accurate summary of Metal Gear Rising, that's when we're going to get an influx of people from Maxor who are going to think that I am ripping off Maxor because I've had a couple people <laughs> say, hey, this is kind of similar to like Maxor videos. And he he does a crazy amount of editing in his stuff. His is like, if Cass had ADHD, that that was that was that would be how I describe his his stuff, and obviously he's way more. Yeah, popular. I had been doing cast long before I knew who he was, and I don't really watch his stuff much. Um, I've like because people have told me it was similar. I watched a couple of videos, but like I'm not sub to him. It's not really my kind of video. But like with Metal Gear Rising, I think that's when people are going to come in and be like, "You're just a rip off of this guy." <laughs> Played Bayonetta. I do want to play some more JR, uh, like Japanese action games, uh, because I like um, I like Kingdom Hearts a lot. I liked um, Devil May Cry Five. Um, I may go back and play some of the older Devil May Crys, including the bad ones, because the bad ones would be great for Cass. Um, and I think Bayonetta would be fun. Um, that kind of thing. No way, the funny meme games and help. I'm definitely not being held at gunpoint to say this. <laughs> But yeah, Maxor puts way more effort into his editing than I do. <laughs> his, 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 like, if something's not happening every one second, then there's not enough editing. <laughs> I am not nearly that um, dedicated to editing, I guess. <laughs> and then I will be doing Elden Ring at some point, probably before the end of the year. Because I want to, I want an excuse to play Elden Ring again. I've played it three times. Need to play it a fourth time, <laughs> or I've beaten it three times. I played it more than that, but you know. Um. So we'll be we'll be doing that. Portal. I may go through at some point because Portal's like two hours, and then Portal Two is maybe double that, like four hours. Um, I could probably get those done in like two days. Those will be fun. 
I also need to figure out times when I'm going to edit because I got to get back into editing uh, Modern Warfare. It'll be out soon. Well, anyways, enjoy your night, and uh, that's really where I'm ending it.